What's up, Kim Heist? Welcome to another Criminology Educational Video. And for today, we will be discussing Fire Technology and Arson Investigation. By the way, my name is Sean Francis San Diego, also known as The Professor. So before we jump into our discussion, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to The Professor, and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for my next upload. So first on our list is Propagation of Fire. So what is Propagation of Fire? It means the manner or way on how the fire spreads or transfers. So, ibig sabihin si propagation of fire daw is kung paano kumakalat yung apoy. So, there are three ways kung paano uh, nagkakaroon ng propagation of fire. So, first would be conduction, the second would be convection, and the last one would be radiation. So, first, what is conduction? When we say conduction, it is the heat transfer that occurs in solids in which it transfers from molecules to molecules. This type of heat transfer happens by direct contact or through a conductor. So, ibig sabihin si conduction daw, it is a heat transfer na nangyayari lang sa mga solid combustible materials such as woods, metals, and the likes. So, nangyayari ang conduction through direct contact of two solid combustible materials or through the aid of a conductor. Second would be convection. When we say convection, it is the heat transfer that occurs in fluids, such as liquid and gases, in which it transfers from molecules to molecules. So, ibig sabihin si convection daw, ito daw yung heat transfer na nangyayari sa mga liquid combustibles and combustible gases. This type of heat transfer is through the movement of hot gases or liquids and the main responsible for the spread of fire in buildings and other infrastructures. So, kumbaga daw, yung uh, pagkakaroon ng apoy or sunog sa, isa, sa mga buildings and other big infrastructures is because of convection. Or yung heat transfer na nangyayari sa sunog sa mga buildings and infrastructures are through convection. The last one would be radiation. It is the heat transfer that occurs in vacuum, which is a vacuum is a place without matter in which heat travels in the form of heat wave. So para mas maintindihan natin si conduction, convection, and radiation, let us refer ourselves to the illustration. So this is the illustration of convection, conduction, and radiation. So this is conduction because uh, ang nangyayari sa kanya is, through heat tra uh, is a heat transfer through a conductor. And ito naman si convection because it is the heat transfer from solid or from hot liquids. And the last one would be radiation. Now, let's jump into the phases of fire. So just to give you a heads up, there are three stages or phases of fire. Namely, Initial phase or the incipient phase, the pre-burning phase or pre-burning phase rather, and the smoldering phase. So first would be the incipient or initial phase. It is the phase in which that fire starts, temperature rises, and small flames are produced. The base area of the fire has a, temper has a temperature of 400 to 800 Fahrenheit. This phase of fire can easily be controlled and extinguished. So for easy understanding, an initial phase or incipient phase, ito pa lang yung kung saan nagsisimula pa lang yung apoy. So doon pa lang tumataas yung temperature or nakakaroon ng agitation of temperature and yung mga small flames are produced. So kumbaga sa initial phase, ito pa lang yung uh, phase or stage kung saan nagsisimulang lumaki yung apoy. Next would be the free burning phase. It is the phase in which all materials are burning, flash over a course at this phase, and serves as the phase where intensity is at its peak. The, the base temperature of the fire is around 800 to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, and ceiling temperature is up to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. So first, what is flash over? When we say flash over, it is the dra dramatic simultaneous combustion of all solid materials, which I already discussed on my past video. So, dito sa uh, free burning phase, dito nangyayari yung nasusunog na lahat ng combustible materials sa fire scene. And the stage of fire is at its peak. So, yung intensity ng apoy is nasa pinakamataas na, na level na. 
the acceleration of pyrolysis happens. Pyrolysis is the thermal decomposition of materials at elevated temperature. Dito na kung saan nasusunog na yung mga combustible materials or ang tinatawag natin at thermal decomposition. The last one would be the smoldering phase. It is the phase in which all materials are consumed by fire, oxygen, and heat are released that yields to reduction of heat until such time it does not burn at all. The sudden introduction of oxygen with superheated fuel under pressure can cause an explosion. Flames are not visible anymore but a large amount of carbon monoxide is produced. Dito sa uh, smoldering phase, ito na yung decaying process of fire kung saan from its peak na stage ng fire which is a free burning phase, pababa na siya. So, patapos na yung apoy. So, for easy understanding, let us refer ourselves to the illustration. So, this is the stages of fire according to the Bureau of Fire Protection. So, this is the incipient phase. Yung pinakauna, incipient phase or yung initial phase kung saan nagsisimula pa lang mabuo yung apoy. And then, nandito yung growth of fire and then nakakaroon na ng fully developed stage or eto na yung free burning phase kung saan si flashover ay nangyayari na which is the dramatic simultaneous combustion of all solid uh, of all materials in the room and then pababa na siya from fully developed going to the decaying process ito na yung tinatawag natin na small derrick phase kung saan yung flames are not visible pero yung usok which is a carbon monoxide is visible next would be magnitude and intensity this would be the last topic of our video discussion so ano yung difference between magnitude and intensity First is magnitude. When we say magnitude, it is the size of fire usually indicated by height of flames and span of damage. These two are proportionate with each other. So when we say magnitude, ito yung size or yung sukat ng apoy. Literally, yung sukat ng apoy. True, the height, kung gaano kataas, and the span of damage, kung gaano kalawak yung apoy. That is the magnitude. And mind you guys, that height and the span of damage are proportionate with each other. Next is intensity. When we say intensity, it means the rate of fire's temperature or how hot the fire is. It is the rate of burning that varies in different condition. In simplest understanding, it is the strength, energy, and temperature of fire. When we say intensity, gano kainit yung apoy. So what are the factors that affect the rate of intensity of heat? First would be amount of material available for burning which is the fuel, calorific amount of energy, value of burning, which is heat, oxygen supply available, which is the third element of fire, which is oxygen, surface area of exposure, and the last one is flame length. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you learned a lot from the magnitude and intensity, what are the stages of fire, and of course, the propagation of fire. So if you like this video, please like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for my next upload. Thank you very much.